Go Transit launched their two new electric buses yesterday on May 15. These buses provide improvements to the passenger experience and demonstrate the viability of electric vehicles for long distance transit routes. In this video, we take a look at the vehicles and how they compare to their diesel counterparts. In December of 2021, Metrolinx announced that they would be testing two electric double-decker buses and that they would enter service in 2022. After a slight delay, the buses entered service in 2023, and one of the electric buses had also been seen at Toronto's Pride Parade in 2022, as all vehicles in the parade were required to be electric. The two buses are now operating on the 19, 27, 92, and 96 B during select times of the day. With a roughly 225 to 300 kilometer range, the buses aren't able to operate on Go Transit's longer routes, but as battery technology improves, we can expect to see electric buses more and more. Compared to the more common diesel fleet, these buses feature USB ports at every seat and seat belts. Additionally, the overhead fan and lighting controls above seats have been redesigned, but don't change the functionality. Seating is similar on the electric buses, but there are some changes. First off, 10 seats have been removed on the lower level to make room for batteries. Additionally, the back row of seats on the upper level has been removed and makes for some rather awkward standing room. The electric buses are also a bit quieter, but it's not a very noticeable difference. However, stepping on board a diesel bus right after riding the e-bus makes the difference clear. Next stop. I also noticed that the destination signs seem to have a paler tone of orange on the e-buses, which doesn't make a big difference for riders, but is an odd switch. With battery technology improving, I'd look forward to seeing more zero emissions buses operating regionally, and this trial is a step in making that happen. You can identify these buses by their special wrap, and if you do ride them, make sure to fill out the survey. Thanks for watching.